invited here in the endangered species room to come in the hole of a black-footed ferret and they can play and feel what, it, what it's like to um, have a warm underground home like a lot of our endangered species need. environmental wall gives a feeling for South Dakota, the prairies, the lakes, and into the Black Hills, where our endangered species called home. All the endangered species are made um, on wood blocks and then can be Velcroed wherever you think they would fit into the environment. So it's a good opportunity for children to not only become acquainted with the endangered species, but also think about what kind of places and surroundings they need to survive in the wild. sculptures are made for each one of the 15 endangered species in South Dakota. Animals, insects, and birds, and fish. So the animals, like this mountain lion, also has its name on the back so the children know what it's called. And they can hold it, they can play with it, play pretend games with it. They can um, just become familiar with what these animals look like, what colors, what sizes they are. And so it gives them a little bit more of an appreciation for animals in the wild. activities that children are invited to participate in here in the endangered species room are making your own nest and since we have four birds that are endangered that live in nests um, we thought that was a timely um, thing to make so these are the patterns for the nest itself and then we have some raffia wild grass and some yarn cut for the children so that they can weave a nest and also we have small tubes that have been painted of cardboard and recycled in that way. And children can use their imaginations as far as animals, birds, insects. Use some of the colored paper with their scissors and glue and make a few of the insects or snakes or mammals that we have here or use their imagination and create their own. Oh, yeah,